The deck of your Oliver Maxi cap should be checked frequently and cleaned or repaired as needed. Dust can build up on the underside of the deck, which causes a restriction of airflow. Eventually, the deck will plug or blind completely. Your deck should be blown down with compressed air as necessary. By blowing air down through the deck, dust that is lodged on the underside of the deck will be loosened. You can do this while the machine is running product. Blinding can also be caused by improper overcover selection. An overcover should be sized so that the smallest particle in your product doesn't stick in or pass through the wire mesh. Because the overcover mesh is in direct contact with your product, it is subject to abrasive wear. Inspect your deck for wear by brushing your hand over the mesh and check for smoothness. Normally, when the wires of the deck overcover are worn halfway through, it is time to repair the deck. Before you start a rebuild, always inspect the deck thoroughly. Look at the underside of the deck and inspect each rib for cracks. Inspect the undercover. Replace ribs or undercover as necessary. Most tools used for a deck rebuild are common. Not all these are necessary to complete the job, but if available, they will make the job easier. First, remove the metal trim around the deck, including the rock trap, side gates, wood blocks, and deck aprons along the high side and discharge end of the deck. Next, remove the horizontal metal pieces called riffles running across the top surface. It is preferable to replace all the riffles at one time. Even though some may look okay, the leading edge will wear thin and will crack when removed. When removing the overcover, do not damage the undercover. Place the deck on sawhorses with adequate light underneath. Always stretch the screen tightly. A pair of vice grips with large jaws works well. There are three sets of belts and sheaves in your Oliver Maxi cap. They are the main drive belts or fan belts, the very speed belt from the very speed motor to the eccentric shaft, and the blender belt from the blender motor to the drive. New belts have a tendency to stretch slightly and should be checked. To check a belt, turn off the machine and lock out the power. Then apply pressure to the back of the belt midway between the two pulleys. The belt should deflect one half inch. Proper tension on the very speed belt is maintained by the spring action in the variable speed pulley. There is no manual adjustment. If the very speed belt slips, it is an indication that the very speed unit is defective or that the belt is worn. The very speed sheave changes the ratio between drive R and drive N pulleys, so the eccentric speed can be changed. It is normal for this unit to wear and should be expected. Most customers get two to three years of hard use before it is necessary to replace the very speed sheave. The complete very speed assembly can be retrofitted with electronic motor controls. Call the factory for details or click on accessories. All the major machine control functions on your maxi cap are made with a patented hydraulic system. To operate correctly, the fluid level must be properly maintained and the proper fluid must be used. The oil reservoir is located on the hydraulic motor pump assembly in the machine's fan chest. The reservoir's oil level should be maintained at the full mark on the dipstick. If the reservoir requires frequent filling, this indicates a leak. Leaks will allow air to get into the system and will result in erratic or poor operation of the controls. Leaks must be located and repaired as soon as they are suspected. The hydraulic fluid can be drained from the reservoir and replaced every 2,000 hours. Do not attempt to drain the entire system as this will allow air into the lines and require purging. The hydraulic filter should be replaced every 2,000 hours. Any major brand hydraulic oil may be used. SAE viscosity of 5W20, 5W30, 10W30, or 10W40 will work. Food grade hydraulic oil is supplied in all new machines and is available from Oliver. Air in the hydraulic system will result in erratic operation of the controls. 
If you suspect air in your system, you must purge it. To purge, operate each hydraulic control through its entire range of operation at least five full cycles. If you are unable to purge the system by cycling, please call the factory. We supply top quality U.S. made sealed bearings that provide a positive lock to the shaft. All bearings are installed using Loctite compound and are fully tested for rumble and overheating. The most common problem on new equipment is shaft to bearing contact failure. A bearing set screw comes loose and allows the bearing to turn on the shaft wearing a groove in the shaft. Check all bearing set screws after your machine has run 8 to 10 hours and again after 150 hours of service. Even sealed bearings require occasional greasing. Don't over grease bearings. Only one shot of grease given every 1,000 to 1,500 hours. It is always a good idea to thoroughly check over the bearing set screw, bearing housing, and the adjoining shaft while greasing.